How do you know if you're trapped with a narcissist? Well, this is ironic. One of the first signs is something called love bombing. And it's a little tricky because it's when the narcissist gives you so much attention, admiration, and flattery, and lavishes you with trips and gifts and promises That of sounds love. great. That yeah. never <laughs> happened to me, by the way. <laughs> I know. Right, but it's the intensity, and it's uh. too much too soon, and here's the trick. If it's too good, to, if it feels too good to be true, it is. Hey, real quick, what is a narcissist? A narcissist is someone who is very entitled and grandiose and arrogant and needs tons of admiration and love. Hmm. Okay, so they start giving you lavish gifts and all this other yes. stuff, which sounds fabulous. <laughs> yes. Uh, but then it turns, right? Then it turns. About a few months in, the charming mask slips. Mm. And then you notice they're disrespectful and they insult you and they disparage you. So you're basing a lot of this on your former marriage to the Wolf of Wall Street, right? Correct. Tell us a little bit about what happened there. Yeah, so exactly what you saw in the movie is what happens. I got loved bomb, tons of gifts and trips and I love you, you're my soulmate. And then a few months in, my ex started to get controlling and possessive and abusive. And then I was like, what? What happened? Were you consulted on the movie, by the way? I was not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you feel it was an accurate, accurate portrayal? I think it was an accurate portrayal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Even though they didn't consult you, they got your story right, you, you feel? Yes, yes, I do think Let, that. Let's talk a little bit about the book here. Um, why now? Well, you know what? I went back to school to mm -hmm. get my doctorate, and I have a therapy practice. And what happened was that all of these beautiful, smart, kind women were coming into my office with the same issues that I had gone through in my marriage. And I just thought, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah. And I went back to the research and wanted to get educated to help them more. Mm. So usually a narcissist, what, has two faces? Yes. Yes, they have, we call them Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And that's why it's so confusing because you never know which one you're gonna get. Mm. When, did, when did that epiphany light go off in your head with your ex-husband? I would say about, pretty quickly, about six months to a year in. Was he fooling around with the drugs? There, there was drugs and everything, yes, right? There was yes, a lot of stuff yes, going yes, on there. Yes, there was a lot of stuff going on. And he started to get very controlling and possessive over me and I lost myself. And so it's very confusing, though, because you had the love bombing in the beginning. So you're like, wait, which one is he? Is he good? Is he bad? Is the relationship good or bad? And that's what keeps you trapped. But you literally, at that point, when you decided to leave, you had two young kids. Oh, yeah. So how did you pull that off? Because that took a lot of courage. It did take a lot of courage. But I just think that, you know, when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, at some point, you're just like, I've had it. Mm -hmm. I can't live like this. It's too, too crazy making and too unsettling. And well, so I and did. And that's where the title comes in, Run Like Hell. Yeah. If you're with someone, whatever the relationship mm -hmm. is, if it's yes. not right, get out of it. Yeah. I know a lot of people, eh, I don't want to get divorced or whatever, especially if you've got kids. It's not good to keep them in a bad relationship. That's right. And you know what? There's so information, so much information like my book and on the internet. You can get education and get empowered, mm -hmm. right? And then you can leave and go on to have a somewhat of a normal life. So if people are sitting at home and they're in a relationship and they're wondering, you know, it may not be drugs or, or abuse or something like that, but they're wondering if they're with a narcissist, what signs should they look for? Well, they should look for the red flags, like we said, of uh, the love bombing, but also gaslighting. You know, when you start to catch them in their lies and their deceitfulness, and you confront them, and they're like, that's crazy, you're crazy, they gaslight you a lot as well. Mm -hmm. So, meanwhile, you've, you've really, like, got a great new chapter of your life, yes. right? We yes. married, yes. Uh, grandchild, yes. um, and you're Dr. Nay on TikTok, which is, like, garnering... Huge. Right, Huge. so tell us how did that come about? Yeah, so what happened was that one of my young patients said, you gotta go on TikTok. And I was like, no, that's crazy. And I dropped a few videos, and of course I dropped some about the wolf, and then it went viral. I mean, six million, five million, three million. And so then I started to use the wolf to educate, you know, that mm -hmm. engine to start to educate women about narcissists and trauma bonds. Well, it was a great idea. Meanwhile, if you want to meet Dr. Nadine, uh, you can because you're going to be in Brooklyn, yes! back in the old neighborhood. Yes! I'm so excited. Yes, uh, she's going to the bookmark shop. I believe it's on Wednesday, January yes. 24th at 7 o'clock. That's right. I just met one of the owners of the bookmark oh, you shop. Did? She's lovely. Oh, I'm so and excited. And I love that bookstore. Oh, I'm so excited to go. There's nothing like going home. I know. That's Good luck with the book. We're both Bay Ridge girls. That's yes. right. Can you tell, <laughs> yeah. Kurt? No, I couldn't tell at all. <laughs>